Ladies and Gentlemen, liebe Pelikane, willkommen bei Life is Strange, Episode 5. In der letzten Folge sind wir wieder in der Zeit ganz weit zurückgegangen. Mr. Jefferson wurde von David umgebracht. Und jetzt müssen unsere Bilder wurden verbrannt und jetzt müssen wir Varen finden, weil der hat noch ein Bild von uns, wenn ihr euch erinnert. Bei der Vortex Party, vor der Vortex Party hat er das gemacht. Da wollen wir in der Zeit zurückreisen, um Chloe zu retten und alles ist einfach fucked up. Und wir versuchen jetzt unser Bestes. Max! Oh, Max. Oh, Jesus, I am so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? The two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out there. I know. There. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. Yeah, you should have. You're an idiot. I'm so oh. glad everybody oh, Frank. Things. Piece of but shit, need... what's up? Okay, Max. Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. Well, well, well. Frank. It's no problem. I'm so glad you're here. Are you okay? What? Besides this tornado, the hole in my leg, and the fact that my dog is dead. Not to mention I could die on the floor of a diner, and you're the last person I might see? Oops. So I'm cool. I'm sorry. And I bet you and Chloe didn't find Rachel. Right? Frank, I don't know how to say this, so I just will. Rachel is dead. Fuck you, Max. No. No way. She left town. She's gone. How do you know, huh? How? All of our clues led us to my professor, Mark Jefferson. He had this creepy photo torture chamber. And we found out he was using Nathan Prescott to drug and photograph Blackwell students. Prescott? Fuck! Fuck! I knew it! I should never have hooked up with that sick punk! Papadou hated him! <laughs> Papadou... You saw... Papadou's down. You saw Rachel. Yes. I wish I didn't. I'm so, so sorry, Frank. Nathan wanted to impress Jefferson and he... He killed her. How? How did he kill her? He used some drug and gave her an overdose. An overdose? The only way Nathan could have done that is, is if I sold it to him. I killed my lioness. No, what have I done? Where is this motherfucker Jefferson? He's dead. He won't be hurting anybody anymore. Rachel. Oh, God. She was the one good thing in my life, Max. I know she was too young. I expect her to leave me. Just... It's not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. I know. Neither would Chloe. I knew Chloe and her were close and I was jealous but uh, now I see why Rachel dug her and Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through Chloe would appreciate that you know the one time I met my dad the bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter his house just to nobody cares in other words to do the right thing me too and maybe you're helping me get there, Max. 
Don't get me wrong, kid. I still think you're weird. <laughs> but you're cool. Okay, four. Where's the fucking picture? I hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. Should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. Can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, yes, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh, yes. Yeah. You're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa! Is that all? I have to go back in time. Jefferson already k killed Chloe. I can't let that happen. I have to do something, Warren. Max, going back in time is what caused the storm. All because, because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. <sighs> what happened with Jefferson? Did he hurt you? Nathan accidentally killed Rachel Amber trying to impress Jefferson. He just needed mental help. Now they're both dead. Jesus, Max. I want the whole story, but I guess we really are out of time. But I can still change things. What do you think will happen? For every action, there's, there's a reaction. Whenever you reversed or, or altered time, maybe you caused a chain reaction. Even in the environment. You're my friend, Warren. Yeah. You believe me, right? I I haven't told anybody else except for Chloe, and and she can't help me right now. I know I can be a pain in the ass, and and you've always treated me like a person. Not I'm a beta nerd. I I told you before that I'll always believe you. I just wish I could trust my powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole, you're part of something bigger. I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And... I guess it's up to you to find out why. Oh, hell yeah. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be more? Give me the fucking history? picture. And I'm in the middle of it with you. So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Okay, let's get. Please be okay, Chloe. Let's go back in time, assholes. Hey, be careful out there. Oh, hot kiss or leave. Okay. I can't be kissing. I was just used to. For luck. There was, but. Not so real. Just in case we don't get out of this, I wanted to say. I know, Warren. Of course you do. I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max. <laughs> super max. Ba boom. Okay, 
Okay, los geht's. Focus on the fucking photo. for this shit. Come on, Max. Ugh. Chloe! Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me, too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna Sorry, be we're in. To Rachel. Let's go. Now. Chloe, wait! Listen! I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once! Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit! Nathan is the fucking serial killer! We saw the proof! Now excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Stupid grade. Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. This is stupid. Jefferson kidnapped Rachel and some other girls. He was also manipulating Nathan and he killed him. Then it's Jefferson's turn to die now. So. I understand so why you don't want to do this. Business. And I won't blame you for not coming with me. Chloe! What the? Oh, you almost had her, Max. I can still do this. Excuse me, I'm going to the... Nathan is... That fucker is... Because... Will you pl Mark Jefferson turned out to be a psychopath. Okay, Max. Let's go in there as a team and take his ass out right now. Chloe! I should never have run away from you like I did when we left Arcadia Bay. I know I hurt you. All I ever wanted was to make it up to you. Please don't run away from me. Max, I'm not running from you. This is when I need you the most. This is how to make everything up to me. With your power and my gun, nothing in the universe can stop us Knock, now, Max. Knock. No, not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm going to do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is going to turn out, and... I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? Chloe, I'm... I'm gonna tell you the truth, no matter what. I changed your past, and I... I, I had to make a terrible choice, and I... I... Max, please tell me. I won't be mad at you. I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And you, you were in pain. You were slowly dying, and you... You asked me to end your life. I did. For you, I, I didn't want you to suffer in any other timeline or reality. I, I, I couldn't bear the thought of you in any more pain. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I, I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. 
You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's, that's why you should come with me, so we can stay together and stay alive. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually stop him, right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. Chloe, David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you, but I'm so grateful David was there. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. Nice, 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 nice. Wir finden dann wieder die Timeline. That's pretty fucked up, aber hey. Normal. You're with me again. Looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And you travel through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I hope it was worth it. But I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. I'm nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, Time Warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Time Warrior. Oh, you have a better bus for do, 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 do. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously. Something. I always wanted my life to be special. An adventure, but not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So, without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. And for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out, we were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You you remember, right? Well, we we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once, I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Is this stop beating yourself up, okay? We both paid our dues already on it. Oh God, look at that! Look at that monster! Who knows? Yes, this fucking could be huge. Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on! No skates. Chloe, I've got your back, Max. I've 
got your back. Whoa. What the fuck? Alfred Hitchcock famously called film little pieces of time. I I'm back in class. What the hell? Are you motherfucking kidding me? Us in our glory I have to sorrow. listen to this Jefferson Light lecture again. This the might be hell. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this is messed up. In black and white? Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Oh, that would be fucked up. Bueller? Diane Arbus. Be calm and go, don't Bueller. freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity Duh. as tortured, right? What's going on? Fuck. Frankly, it's bullshit. Nobody even cares? Shh, shh, shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Everybody's gone now. What is happening? Have I totally fucked up time? Yes, you did. This doesn't make sense. I'm sorry, Kate. Not yet, you bastard. Lord, what the fuck? Holy shit. Look at all these dead birds. Uh, this can't be real. Fuck. Rachel didn't deserve any of this. Leute, sind wir. What the fuck? I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Your purity inspires me so much, and we could be so happy together. What who needs selfies fuck? when I can give you portraiture? Sound you stupid? There's no way I'm saying that. No way. <laughs> Thanks for <laughs> it's about time somebody finally killed Chloe. Think of how often that bitch almost got me killed. It's like you're doing both of us an awesome favor. Chloe can never appreciate you the way I will. Maxine. And yes, I insist on calling you Maxine. Forever. Forever. What the fuck? This can't be real. This spiel is einfach nur fucked up. I don't believe it. What? You what, mate? You what, 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 what? You what? What the fuck? That's some serious bullshit. Hey, Kate. Max. How could you let me jump off a roof? You were the only person I trusted here. But you never really listened to me. So true. Now I'm never going to heaven. Instead, never. you stuck me in hell. Alone forever. No! Mm -hmm. Kate, I, I was only trying to save you. Yep. Page. Door. Open. 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 Wait, what the fuck? Open. Fucked up. Okay, egal. In der nächsten Folge, ich glaube, das wird auch die finale Folge sein, ich bin mir nicht sicher, aber ich glaube, werden wir irgendwie alles auf einen grünen Zweig bringen. Ansonsten vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen, haut rein und bis zum nächsten Mal.